and hopefully they're gonna breed. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Oh. oh, too late! What's up, YouTube? Aram here with Urban Tarantulas, and we have a very interesting video for you guys today. You're gonna go through a plethora of emotions. There was happy moments. There was some other moments. And without further ado, here is the video. This is something that we do here regularly, breed diversity colors. We have a lot of females, lots of males, and we produce a whole bunch of babies here at Urban Tarantulas. So, we're gonna try it with two females at the same time. Now, these females are virgins. They have not been paired before, ever. They might be a little on the younger side, but that's okay, I think. They're not teenagers or juveniles. They're, they're adults, young adults. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen with them. So we have the mature males over here. I'm gonna slowly take out the mature males. So this mature male matured out October 12th, I would say. And this mature male, November 17th is when he matured out. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. What's going on there? What's happening? She wanted to breed with him. She wanted? Or yeah, but then she got startled. But now he's vibrating his pedipups a little. By the way, this right here is the male. And you could tell that this is a male specimen because of the front two pedipalps. So the front two legs are actually arms and they are called the pedipalps. They have uh, these little bulgy things on the tip of them. They're called emboli. The little red dots that you see, yes, that is where they pack you know the coming from behind. Ooh. So these guys are a lot more active than these guys. So we'll let them play around for a little bit. I'm gonna work on these two right here. So whenever we're breeding a, ver a pair of Versi colors or mm. oh. oh, oh, he's tapping. So this is a clear indication that the male is receptive and he wants to nanny. He is moving his pedipalps. He is tapping the cork bark indicating that he is very receptive and waiting for the female. So if we could get the female to be as receptive as she is, that would be excellent. Oh, 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 they're, they're chasing each other. The other male is tapping as well. And I think it's about to go down, but the female does not want him to enter. Why female, why? That is a beautiful male. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. I saw some fangs, I saw some fang action. So I'm gonna stand on top with my tongs, by the way. So I got my handy dandy tongs ready just to step in between the tarantulas in case the, the female wants to sink her fangs inside the male, but uh, we're not gonna let that happen today. So over here, you can clearly see the males going down deep inside the female's epigastric furrow. It's Isn't it amazing how tarantulas know what to do? It's just pure instinct. Like nobody taught them that they need to lay a web and gently release sperm onto the web. And they somehow suck the sperm from the web with their arms, which are known as the pedipalps. And after doing so, when introduced to the female, he knows where her sexual organ is and for him to go down on her with his arms and impregnate her. Spread his love seeds, procreate, and, and pass his genes on for generations to come. I don't know, it's just, I think it's incredible that this could be pure instinct. It's, it's in their DNA that's written well before they are even babies. Tarantulas are just amazing animals in my opinion. So the breeding process could take anywhere from 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, all the way up to maybe 10, 15 minutes for this species. So we got these guys to breed. It was an excellent uh, pairing. It was very successful. Now I'm gonna put the male away. So the male's gonna go back into his permanent enclosure and the female, we're gonna tuck her away. Oh, what a beautiful female though. Look at those colors, the reds and the blues. We're gonna put her back into here. So what's gonna happen now is we're gonna wait anywhere from a few weeks all the way up to several months and she is hopefully gonna lay a sack for us with lots of babies. Usually anywhere from 50 babies all the way up to over 200. It's possible on larger females. But a smaller female like this, uh, she's about four inches or so, maybe four and a half inches. She's gonna give us probably around 50 babies. So she's gonna go back into the paired section with all the other Versi colors. Now we're gonna concentrate on these two. So far, the female has not been receptive. The male, he's been asking for it, but the female, for some odd reason, is not receptive. So we might put her away. We 
might put her away and try with another female. Just one last effort, one last try. If it happens, great. If it does not, you know, it happens. So, male. <laughs> He's chasing her. Good little buddy, good little buddy. All right. We're gonna get you another female. Relax, relax, relax. We'll get you another lady. Just, just give me some time. Just give me some time. Give me like two minutes. There we go. This female is clearly not ready, Mr. Cameraman. Thank you, thank you. She's gonna go back into the section with all the other females that have not paired yet. So we're gonna grab a different female. Let's see. She's got a big booty. Let's go. Get down to business. Take the coral park out. Books are out. Get the mature male. Alrighty, let's see what happens. This poor male. This is the second female. He's like, man, I just can't catch a break. I just want some, some. <sighs> so the female inside this enclosure was not receptive. She just kept on refusing. So I brought another female out and we're gonna see if this this female will teach her the ropes because this female knows how to do it. Maybe she needs to show this one how to smash. Oh. <laughs> this is the third female. This poor male, this poor male. I feel bad for this guy. This is the third female that's not being receptive. There's nothing wrong with you. I promise, little buddy. Mm. Oh. Oh, is this it? Is this it, little man? Are you gonna do it? Are you going to go in for the insertion? Is she gonna say yes? So far, it's not looking good, buddy, and I am sorry. He still got rejected. He still got rejected. This is the third female. My boy's got heart. Look at him go. He's still tapping away. He's just, he's not a quitter. You know, there's that famous saying that goes something like, when you, when you get rejected three times, your fourth one is a success. Confucius. If this little man gets rejected for the fourth time, I I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, we got contact. Nope, nope, nope. You gotta redeem yourself, little buddy. You got this, man, you got this. It, it's, it's a female. You know what they say? When you get rejected four times by four different females, you gotta try to fit. No, no, it was gonna happen. <laughs> ah! This dude can't catch a break. <laughs> oh lord. Oh lord. So this little guy failed with four females. What am I gonna do? We're gonna go for a fifth, but for his fifth, I'm gonna use one of my biggest females. A proven breeder, a hot one. She's gonna be sexy. Not a lot of males get to impregnate her, but he is going to have the opportunity to. So this little man got rejected four times by four different females. And every time that we introduced a new female, we thought we were going to get something. But I've never had a mature male get rejected so many times. This is just not normal. I mean, he's, he's active. He's fresh. I've seen a sperm web from him. She is named... Big Bertha. Of course, everybody's got to have, have an animal that's named Big Bertha, right? She's a proven breeder. She's freaking gorgeous. She's a red color form versicolor. Carabina versicolor. And she pretty much always breeds. Can you guys see the size difference? This is a male. That's a mature male. And that is my Big Bertha female. And hopefully they're going to breed. Oh, oh! Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh, too late. Too late. Oh my god. Oh my god. This did not just happen. Oh my god. I am so sorry. I should have reacted a lot sooner. Oh my oh, Jesus. It was too late. I just didn't 
get a chance to react fast enough. It was my mistake. The last time this happened, it's been it's been years. Oh, I feel so bad. I, I, by the time that she got her fangs in him, it was just it was just a little too late for me to get the tongs in there, and I, I just made a split decision to kind of just let her. I don't know. I just just have him. I I, I think we sacrificed him. So he. He was unsuccessful. He failed with four females and got eaten by the fifth. I, I mean, like, I was pretty certain that the this female was gonna breed. She, this female always breeds. She's never taken down a male. That's why I was very confident, um, somewhat confident, and I, I was, uh, I, I kept my distance, but as you guys saw, that it just happened so quick, and when breeding tarantulas, there's always a risk when you're gonna lose a male. Typically with versicolors, uh, it doesn't happen very often, but um, I guess it just it, it happened right now, and she's devouring the male. I mean, look, she's devouring the male. It's gonna be a big meal for her. Um, he just he didn't get to pass on his genes. I feel so bad, but this is this is part of the game. This is mother nature, you know. This is the risk that we take sometimes when we're breeding tarantulas and all males must take the risk of uh, possibly getting eaten it just it happened in this case i feel super bad it happened to this particular male because he was just so close to to breeding with four females and he just kept on getting rejected and rejected and the fifth female which i thought that they were gonna breed she just chomps down and and sinks her fangs into him and it was by that time it was just too late uh, i could have gone in there with the tongs and separated the mature male after the fangs were sunk into a carapace but uh he, he was just gonna die anyway so that I, I made that split decision and i just left the male in there and she's now having a, a very large meal it's, it's unfortunate but mother nature there we go so it does happen sometimes and there's nothing that we could do about it. Sometimes you're gonna lose a male. Sometimes a male's gonna breed with several females. Do your best, you're gonna stand there with the tongs on top of them. Sometimes you can save them. Sometimes you just can't react fast enough. It happens. It happens to everybody in the tarantula community, whoever's been breeding, whoever's been keeping a lot of, uh, a lot of tarantulas, they know the game. Thank you for watching. Appreciate your time. Appreciate the support and love. Like, comment if you feel like it. If not, it's cool. Over and out.